Our first composer is Franz Joseph Haydn. He was born in Austria, and he sang in the church choir for nine years as a young boy. He happened, when he got older, he happened to become good friends with a guy you may all know or have heard of, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And they even played together in string quartets in the 1780s. He also taught another well-known composer, Ludwig van Beethoven. But they didn't see eye to eye, and their relationship was brief. Now, one of Haydn's most enduring tunes became the basis of the Austrian and German national anthems and is frequently sung in English and American churches to the words, glorious things of thee are spoken. Haydn would normally begin each manuscript of his composition with the words, in nomine domini, meaning in the name of the Lord, and would end with the words, laus Deo, Praise be to God. Jihei will play the first movement of Haydn's Sonata in D major, a very joyful piece that matches Haydn's and Jihei's humorous personality. Frederick Chopin was born in Poland, but spent most of his adult life in Paris. Like many famous composers, Chopin was a child prodigy, performing his first public concerto at the age of eight. As a child, he desired playing in the dark, 
and he carried this preference with him throughout his life. He primarily played for small gatherings of wealthy Parisians and would request that the lamps be dimmed and the candles put out. He was a very shy man and only played about 30 public concerts. He had the rare gift of a very personal melody, expressive of heartfelt emotion, and his music is penetrated by a poetic feeling that has an almost universal appeal. Jihei will play Chopin's Etude, Opus 10, number three in E major. Chopin himself believed the melody of the piece to be the most beautiful one he ever composed. And you may find that you agree.
Johannes Brahms was born in Hamburg, Germany. He was also a child prodigy, writing his first composition at age 11. However, he was very self-critical and destroyed most of his early compositions because he thought of them as embarrassing. Because of his perfectionism, it took him 22 years to write his first symphony. He became very wealthy from his composing, but he didn't show it. He lived in a small apartment and happily gave money to friends and aspiring musicians. He ate at the cheapest restaurants and wore clothes that at times would make him appear to be homeless. Although he was thought of as a grumpy man, he was really a child at heart and took candy with him on his walks to share with the neighborhood children. He loved the outdoors and would take vacations, walking in the hills of Italy and composing in the solitary quietude. Jihei will play his ballad 118, number three in G minor. This piece is one of several co compositions that he wrote during his final years after a, he told a friend that he had retired from composing.
Claude Debussy was born in France. Unlike many famous composers, he grew up in a poor working class family. But his parents learned early, that, early on that he too was a child prodigy. And at age 11, he was admitted to the Paris Conservatory of Music, the leading music institute in France. It seemed that he would become a concert pianist, but he failed his exam at the conservatory, which led him to focus primarily on composing. Most of his compositions are for orchestra or piano, but he also wrote songs, chamber music, and an opera. He is often called an impressionistic composer because he was influenced by a group of painters called impressionists. However, he rejected the term for himself. Jihei will play the third movement of one of his most famous suites, Bergamasque. The piece called Claire de Lune, which means moonlight, was inspired by a poem written by the French poet Paul Verlaine. It is the most well-known part of the suite, and I'm sure that most, if not all of you, will recognize it.
Rachmaninoff was born in northwest Russia. As a young pianist, he continually amazed his teachers, and he created a storm with his first piano concerto at age 18. Rachmaninoff had possibly the largest hands in classical music, making many of his pieces extremely difficult to play for the normal performer with normal-sized hands. He could span 12 piano keys from the tip of his little finger to the tip of his thumb. This piano concerto number two is often described as the greatest ever written and is heavily featured in popular culture. Part of the piece inspired Eric Carmen to write his popular song, All By Myself. Rachmaninoff was not only a great composer, but a fine conductor and magnificent pianist. His piano concerto number three is considered one of the most difficult pieces to play as it makes use of his large hands. The work is used powerfully on the soundtrack of the film Shine and found a new audience with the success of the film. Rachmaninoff also had a very deep and personal religious faith due to, the maternal, due to his maternal grandmother's active role in bringing him up. His faith is expressed beautifully in a set of choral vespers he wrote in 1915. In 1917, the Re Russian Revolution drove Rachmaninoff from Russia, and he ended up in the United States, where he was in great demand. He lived in New York for many years, but eventually moved to Los Angeles, where he built a house which was the exact replica of his home in Moscow. He had a passion for automobiles and speedboats and adored New York's ice cream sodas. Jihei will play his pre prelude opus 23, number five, which is the best known work from his book of 10 preludes, opus 23, and, one is, and is one of the absolute favorite, but also difficult pieces to play.